And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLUC network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about, trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So, it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOC network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2400 QSO VLOC air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word Highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9 VKV Logbook and KC9 VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. And today 
Our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today, on the transmit side, we'll be running our NOSWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO Vlog video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO Vlog network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this is part of the band that has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, a uh, beautiful copy, running 10, 20 over 9 direct, as I don't have capability here for uh, SDR. Very, very good uh, copy. It's uh, mostly cloudy out and 32 degrees. 32 degrees. I have a bit of an SWR problem here on 40, but I'm off 75 meters right now, unfortunately. Uh, something has happened to that antenna, and I have not been able to uh, track it down. And we only have about two, two and a half inches of snow left on the ground. So let me turn it back to you and see how you copy, uh, uh, Jim. KC9VKV, K1GZ, and an L. Roger, roger, Charlie got you a 35 over on Milford as usual. Just a beautiful signal there. And I'm so glad to have you uh, uh, back on the air. Uh, sorry that we missed you uh, uh, last week, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, those things happen. And uh, I'm glad to have you uh, back with us. Roger, roger. I'm glad to have you uh, back with us. Roger, roger. Yeah, I'm glad to be back myself. Uh, <laughs> boy, I went through uh, six days in the hospital. I was trying to uh, uh, get the right uh, regulation uh, uh, and find out what's causing uh, a little bit of blood poisoning, blood poisoning uh, due to uh, slightly swollen limbs and uh, legs, but they got that under uh, control. Uh, so far, it's better. So far, it's better, and I hope uh, hope it will uh, remain. Anyway, here's Captain Mike. I recorded yesterday. I recorded yesterday uh, on the uh, 1st of uh, December, 2022, and here he is. I'm right in uh, the main lobe here, I guess, uh, where our location is. I know, I think you're pointing towards uh, Los Angeles, I believe it is. But, uh, yeah, Charlie was having troubles with the uh, 80, uh, 75 meters uh, last night, the night before, uh, Mike, and uh, he was, uh, wasn't able to uh, load up on there. But, uh, 
Uh, then again, he had that problem on 20 today, so I'm glad he got that uh, that fixed. I hope it's not the amplifier uh, intermittent there. But uh, anyway, it sounds to me like that 80 meter is probably just some uh, tree branch or something that's uh, falling on top of it. I, I don't recall looking at that uh, that antenna when I was over at your place, Charlie, but uh, I know you got a lot of a lot of stuff out there. Uh, WA30 KX4 Whiskey Charlie, am I still with you there, Mike? 46 miles north, uh, east of Springfield, Illinois, at 34, uh, showing a 65 knot headwind, doing only about 400 knots right now, with uh, 1,550 miles to go, Charlie. ETA in there is uh, 0210, that's uh, 910 your time. Uh, temp up here right now is minus uh, 56, hasn't changed a bit. Uh, K1, G's and L, KX4, Whiskey Charlie. 65 below Fahrenheit. Sounds good, Charlie. Yeah, we're in uh, eastern Nebraska right now. Uh, at the same altitude here, 34. Slugging along very slowly, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, showing about 1,138 miles to go. But uh, anyway, yeah, good to hear you. I, uh, I was trying to uh, on uh, 253 there. This man uh, down here was uh, kind of crowded just uh, about 10 minutes ago. But, uh, yeah, good copy on you there. And, uh, I don't know if uh, KB2 Mike Golf Quebec is in there, but... Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, we uh, talked to him a little bit on the tarmac in Sacramento. Uh, however, we did that on 40. We did that right here on uh, 40 meters on 71.45. Uh, but we had to use upper sideband because all their military equipment uh, is upper sideband. They do not use lower uh, sideband. KC9, VKV, K1G, Citadel. I hope you were, you were able to copy. Roger, Roger, Charlie, just perfect copy, just like you right here, you know. And I was just thinking, I think I'm going to uh, try to rename your uh, antenna farm uh, maybe uh, Ham Harbor, because it looks like uh, there's so many mainsails uh, of your antenna uh, poles uh, sitting there. It's just uh, like uh, coming into a to a sailboard harbor, Roger. Yeah, coming into a to a sailboard harbor, Roger. Okay. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. Uh, it, uh, uh, you know, it, it seems to work, but I've got things that are breaking down, breaking down, and I'm not walking as well as I have been, uh, as I used to be, and I have to uh, uh, do things uh, very, very gradually. I tried uh, uh, this afternoon about an hour and a half, two hours ago, to trace where this 75 meter problem is and I was not able to uh, see the wire so I suspect what uh, happened what happened but I'm not absolutely positive on it and uh, that antenna was uh, one of my best but unfortunately it's not uh, working on 75 meters at present okay Jim look I won't hold it uh, too uh, too long I won't hold it uh, uh, too long there. I just I hope that... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, let me turn it back to you there. Yeah. KC9, VKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, I was just thinking also, maybe uh, maybe you could start doing uh, quadcopter uh, flying, and you could use those quadcopters to come up and inspect the connections there at about 75 feet or so, not have to climb up there or nothing, you know, just take your uh, quadcopter, fly it up there, and, uh, you know, they've got cameras, they can record it, and, uh, and you can see uh, what's going on there, Roger, Roger. And, uh, and you can see uh, what's going on there, Roger, Roger. <laughs> okay, but my uh, wallet isn't thick enough. My <laughs> wallet isn't thick enough, and uh, the slightest breeze in the wrong place it would be horrible. Okay, Jim, by the way, to give you an idea how well you're coming in, let me see. Helicopters to come up and inspect the connections there at about 75 feet or so. I have to climb up there or nothing, you know, just take helicopter fly it up there and uh, you know they've got cameras they can record it and, uh, and you can see uh, what's going on there roger roger okay how was that jim go ahead oh just perfect charlie just perfect so glad to have you back uh 73 of that way so glad to have you back uh 73 of that way
Okay, the very, very best uh, to you, and keep up the good work that you're doing uh, constantly. KC9, BKB, K1GZL, we are clear and QRT at the moment. Roger, roger, Charlie. 73, sir. This is KC9 VKV. A reminder, my name is Jim, and better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live to a five, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, and that'll take you to our YouTube QSO VLOG page where we're currently featuring over 2400 QSO VLOG air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series. Even if uh, YouTube doesn't agree, it will be cut number one in that series. We also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search search. Well, without uh, further ado, let's open it up there. And uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Bravo 8, Papa Yankee Golf. Kilo Bravo 8 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Bravo 8 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Okay, Kilo Bravo 8. Papa Yankee Golf. PYG, Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? PYG, Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, the name is Ken, Kilo, Echo, November. Roger, Ken, and uh, whereabouts are you located, sir? Roger, Ken, and uh, whereabouts are you located, sir? Okay, I'm located in Cambridge, Ohio. Uh, yes, and uh, I don't know what kind of copy you got on me, but uh, my tuner is reading a little bit of standing wave here, but I'm, and uh, I might have to lower it down a little bit. Uh, I'm using a Milford right now, and you seem to be about uh, 10 over on the Milford. Uh, what uh, radio are you running today, Ken? On the Milford, uh, what the radio are you running today, Ken? Okay. Oh, very good. Ten over. That's good, and I won't mess with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, my radio here is an FT nine ninety. Roger. FT-990, Roger, Roger. Well, if you'd be interested in our setup procedure, it uh, starts with you uh, um, checking out to be sure you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 uh, transmit uh, band pass mode, 100 to 2900, just called wide. It'll give you the best performance uh, for your radio, Roger. It'll give you the best performance uh, for your radio, Roger. Uh, okay, uh, is my audio okay? Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, it can always be better. We, we do have a set of procedure there, and uh, we want you to sound the best that you can, and uh, that can only happen uh, if you're in that 100 to 2,900. Now, if you go, you know, if you go higher than 2,900, then you start knocking on other people's doors, and they'll start coming to look for you with pitchforks. So we suggest uh, you run in that 100 to 2900 transmit band pass. If you're not familiar with it, it's in settings. And uh, just to take a note, uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Just to take a note, uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Okay, Roger, 100 to 2900. Uh, now, are you talking about the uh uh, the mic gain settings or the microphone settings or what, sir? No, I'm talking about transmit bandwidth setting, TBW. Uh, you have uh, different uh, settings uh, for that, uh, and uh, we prefer that you run in that 100 to 2900, which will allow your radio to perform at its uh, best capabilities, Roger. Radio to perform at its uh, best capabilities, Roger. So the best thing to do, just take a note, it's uh, in uh, settings, I'm sure, and it's called Transmit Bandwidth Setting, TBW, 
and it should be 100 to 2900. A basic uh, setup procedure starts with your compressor on and at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100 depending on how it's labeled. We're only looking for about a third of that uh, compression capability. It's nothing that you'll ever hear on the air but it uh, helps with your uh, dynamic range uh, at the end. Roger? With your uh, dynamic range uh, at the end. Roger? Okay, yeah, well, I'm not sure if my this 990 has got that setting or not. I'm not sure. Uh, I, it's, it's got the bandwidth there on the front. Uh, that, but it's right now it's right now it's 2.4K. I got, I got it at the 2.4K setting right now on the bandwidth on, on the front of the, of the radio, this 990. Roger. Yes, sir. Well, uh, just take a note and check it out at your leisure, sir. You would have a better audio, uh, cleaner audio at that 100 to 2900 setting if you if you have that capability for that radio. I'm not I'm not familiar with your radio. Hopefully you, you are, or you can check it on your owner's manual. Uh, you know, but you want the highest uh, uh, transmit bandwidth setting that uh, you can run there provided it's not over 2900 so we're just saying that uh, uh, the best performance would be 100 to 2900 but past that uh, for the uh, setup it starts with your compressor on at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100 uh, depending on how your compressor is labeled Roger 100 uh, depending on how your compressor is labeled Roger uh, Roger, okay. Well, I will check that out. Uh, I mean, in the meantime, if, if I sound a little bit distorted, I can also uh, set the mic gain down on this radio. Uh, uh, that, that's, a, that's a possibility here uh, that I, I could do that. That would help my audio. D did you say that I can check the audio out on your YouTube webpage? Is that correct? Oh, that's right. We're recording now. And I'm going to help you set your audio if you would like. Uh, go to your AOC meter with mic gain in hand and as you say the magic word audio adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds that's uh, AOC meter uh, at two-thirds by saying the magic word audio you become a human test generator and adjust your mic gain until your uh, ALC is running two-thirds Roger until your uh, ALC is running two-thirds Roger audio audio uh, I, 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 I. Okay, how about, well, let's see. Uh, how about that? Yes, sir. Don't want to stress that word when you say it. You know, just to say it as you would say any other word in a QSO. Uh, you know, and uh, then uh, just adjust your mic uh, for uh, two thirds on your ALC. Uh, it sounds like you're pretty close. I'm looking at your audio on a. A view meter and uh, it can I've got it adjusted for zero level on your peaks and uh, so I should, would suggest now that you move to your tone control or your equalization page depending on uh, what they call it it's a EQ uh, and what kind of equaliz equalizer do you have there it's a three band eight band or, or what you got there Pleasure. do you have there it's a three band eight band or what you got there Sir, I have no idea. Uh, all I know is, is uh, I can I can adjust the mic gain on this. Um, uh, I I am using I am I am also using, sir, a, an amplified microphone. It's it's a D104 amplified microphone. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, well, you know, the thing is, uh, what you want is, uh, the way to set that up is to take your internal mic gain to 5 or 50 or midway, and then adjust your mic gain on the, on the mic direct to where, as you're looking at your ALC meter, you're running a two-thirds by saying the word audio. And that, the reason that is is to uh, make sure that you're not overdriving your uh, mic preamp front end. So you set your mic gain, internal mic gain, at a nominal setting of like midway 50%, 5 or whatever, however it's labeled there, and then turn your, your uh, external mic gain up to where your ALC is uh, running uh, two-thirds by the way of saying the word audio, Roger. Roger, uh, that's, sir, that's ex basically exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, I am, I am, uh, I set my mic game, my game down, I, I switched the DLC here on this rig, and, uh, and that, this is what actually, uh, what I'm doing right now, is uh, 
I'm staying within the, the ALC limit there, uh, the, the gray area on this rig, which is, I think is where I want to be. Yeah, the, the proper way to set the AOC is, uh, you know, as I, as we discussed there, I mean, you can turn your mic gain up and down, anybody can do that, but to set it correctly, you know, it, it involves your AOC, and uh, it's not important what your mic gain is, it's important as to how that mic gain affects your AOC. The AOC is the Bible for your radio, and for proper operation, you want to calibrate uh, the mic gain to your peaks are at uh, two-thirds, and that's why you say the word audio, as a human test generator. You say the word audio as a human test generator. Uh, Roger, audio, audio. Yeah, well, I'm doing about to, I'm doing about two thirds right now. And, uh, okay. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the, radio, the, the microphone check and the audio check here. And uh, I guess maybe I can go ahead and, and listen to what I sound like there on, on your YouTube uh, page. And so, um, uh, okay, I, I really appreciate the information there, sir. And um, I'll back out here, let somebody else uh, have, the, have the frequency to talk to you. The K, 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 KC9, uh, the VKZ, this is KB8PYG, Ken in Cambridge, Ohio. Appreciate the, the test, sir, and have a good day. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Roger, Roger, Ken 73 up that way, sir. And if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you directly to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2400, and we'll have it uploaded to YouTube by uh, noon tomorrow. And uh, so 73, sir, have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey 3 Alpha Mike Charlie, W3AMC. The name here is David, Delta Able, Victor Ida Delta. Located in the northeastern part of Pennsylvania. You sound pretty good up here today. Go ahead. Well, thank you, David. Uh, likewise, sir, you're sounding really good there. Uh, this is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO of Vlog Net. Uh, uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Afternoon QSO of Vlog Net. Uh, uh, what radio are you running today, sir? I'm right now using the ICOM 7300 with the ICM microphone and nothing more than a dipole about 30 feet off the ground. Go ahead. Oh, yes, sir. Well, gosh, uh, you have one of the greatest antennas in the world. Uh, the only thing that beats a dipole is a resonant dipole. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a dipole is just a very, very efficient antenna. So, uh, you know, you're sounding, sounding really good. Now, if you'd be interested in our setup procedure, again, it, uh, it um, is uh, that you should verify that you're running that uh, 7300 in the uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth setting, TBW, it's in uh, settings, uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. If you're not familiar with that, just to take a note and uh, uh, adjust it uh, at your leisure, Roger. Take a note and uh, uh, adjust it uh, at your leisure, Roger. Yeah, real good. That's exactly where it is. 100 to 2,900. That's mostly where I look at it. I see seeing it here on the scope. So I hope we sound that uh, half decently, and I guess we got it uh, uh, pretty good or awful close there. So there we go. Go ahead. Yes, sir. It, that uh, 7300 has three others, two other settings, and they are lesser settings than that 100 to 2900. So you want to set. Matter of fact, when you, if you want to, you could set all three of those settings to the same thing, 100 to 2900, and that way uh, you don't ever make a mistake. You're always operating your radio at the uh, best uh, possible uh, band pass bandwidth. And then uh, for starting our setup procedure, it starts with you engaging your compressor on and at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100 uh, and that 7300 it would be a 3 uh, it's something that you'll never hear on the air, but it uh, helps you uh, uh, at the end point with your dynamic range just a little bit. So it's a compressor on at a 3, Roger. A little bit. So it's a compressor on at a 3, Roger. All right, compressor at 3. All right, very good. That uh, we can do. So there we go. So you come back and I'll 
I'll uh, oh, get myself situated here. There, I can put it to three. I have it at a one. And so there we go with that end of it. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So you're going to slip that up to a three. It, it's uh, three is uh, just a nice uh, uh, level. It uh, it's something that just works in the background. It's very transparent, uh, and uh, you know it it's not sucking up between your words or nothing. It's just very very nice uh, at a three on your your compressor. All right. So once we have that three uh, on the compressor, then we move to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand. And uh, as you uh, say the magic word audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two thirds. So that's uh, looking at your ALC meter with mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, don't stress it, just say it as you would say any other word in a QSO and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two thirds. Roger? Adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two thirds. Roger? Okay, I think we're awful close for that. I will check that a little bit out. But I did put the compression up to number three. We're up to number three here with the 7300. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Now you, you realize you have one of the finest radios in the world. That uh, 7300 is, uh, is I, I think, the radio of the century. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, when you stop to consider the cost, and the capability, you know, a 7300 is just, uh, you know. Now, if you have $3,000, a 7610 is another good choice. But for, you know, for the, the other price, the lower price, that uh, 7300 is just a beautiful radio. So, you know, again, I want to give you the opportunity to set that AOC. You know, if you just say the, the magic word audio uh, with mic gain in hand and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two-thirds. We used to say uh, mid-scale to two-thirds as you spoke fairly quickly, but uh, it's much more effective just to use the word audio, elongate the front, you become a human test generator, and just adjust your mic for two-thirds reading on your AOC meter. And just adjust your mic for two-thirds reading on your AOC meter. Okay, I will take care of that. It seems to be pretty darn close, so we seem to be doing A-OK -okay there. Uh, I think it's pretty much right there. It's a two-thirds right now. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm looking at your output uh, on a uh, view meter, and, and you are uh, very close there. I just, uh, you know, we just have that set of procedure that we verify different points, and uh, but you you do look very close. Uh, so now we would move to your tone control, uh, your equalizer page, and uh, that uh, 7300 has a two-band equalizer. Uh, the Lord never made a simpler equalizer. I think, you know, the, the point is that most uh, comp uh, equalizers are designed to strike a balance from the top to the mids and the bottom to the mids. And so much so that uh, ICOM doesn't even bother wasting time putting a mid-range control in there because they want that to be flat. They want that to be flat and strike your balance with your treble and your bass. So uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, if you could uh, advance your treble EQ two clicks from where you are, you'll get a little more articulation in your audio, Roger. you are, you'll get a little more articulation in your audio, Roger. Okay, we're, we're pretty much set, ready to go there with that end of it. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, so you added uh, two clicks additional uh, treble EQ from where you were? Roger, Roger, so you added uh, two clicks additional uh, treble EQ from where you were? That uh, equalizer is in uh, sideband transmit uh, uh, tone control. Uh, um, tone control. Settings. Settings. Or you can just take a note to add uh, two more clicks of treble EQ at your convenience, was you? To add uh, two more clicks of treble EQ at your convenience, was you? Okay, here we are. Now I, I'm pretty well there. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting it in the receive mode. And I realized I was in the receive mode. So 
There we go. Uh, we could start with the base. Go ahead. Uh, I'd prefer to start with the top end. The treble EQ plus two clicks boost from where you are. With the top end. The treble EQ plus two clicks boost from where you are. Okay, we're at zero right now. We're at uh, zero on the treble. Go ahead. Alrighty, was it minus two before? Because we want to add two clicks additional uh, treble boost from where you were in the beginning. Clicks additional uh, treble boost from where you were in the beginning. Uh, should I go on the minus side or should I come up on the plus side? Alright, we're going to go on the plus side. We're going to add two clicks. Add, add, two clicks treble boost from where you are. So that's uh, two clicks additional uh, plus Two from wherever you were at the moment, Roger. Two from wherever you were at the moment, Roger. Got it, got it, there we go. We're two clicks at the, the treble side right now. Go ahead. Yes, sir, and your bottom sounds just fine. Uh, is that uh, flat on the bottom side? Sir, and your bottom sounds just fine. Uh, is that uh, flat on the bottom side? Uh, I'm sitting at uh, plus two. I'm not flat, okay? All right, so right now uh, your bass control is at plus two, and your treble EQ is at plus two. Is that a Roger? At plus two, and your treble EQ is at plus two. Is that a Roger? I have to take a look at the bass. Okay, we, we don't want to do anything to the bass. We want to keep the bass just like it was. I, I thought you were just very well balanced uh, the way you were there. Just needed a little more top end on your treble boost treasure. Two clicks. More top end on your treble boost treasure. Two clicks. Uh, you want me to go up two more on the treble? Uh, sure, let's try that. Uh, plus two clicks additional from where you were. So you're now at uh, plus four uh, treble EQ or somewhere around there. So you're now at uh, plus four, uh, treble EQ or somewhere around there. All right, there we go. There's the treble at plus four. There's what we're at right now. Go ahead. Oh, yes, just lovely. Just keep her right there. Take your Gorilla Tape and tape her down, sir. You've got it going on. Just perfect, Roger. I wouldn't change anything now. Uh, just uh, go to uh, YouTube tomorrow and uh, check for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. And that will take you to this recording and you can hear your beautiful radio. We'll take you to this recording and you can hear your beautiful radio. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to hear that. And uh, I I just checked the, the a a l c and it uh, it uh, never touches the peak point at the very top with the compression at three and stuff like that. So apparently uh, we've got it. So thank you very much. So let you go. Take care. Thank you. W three A M C Clark. Roger, Roger, David, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, enjoy your recording. If you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. This is the uh, Friday afternoon Kissel Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kissel Vlog Net, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. November 8th, Tango. Kilo. Kilo. There's a November 8 Tango Station, a November 8 Tango Station. Come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. November 8 Tango Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. November 8 Tango, Romeo, Hotel. TRH, Tango, Romeo, Hotel, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? TRH, Tango, Romeo, Hotel, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Okay, Dave, I think you just hit your VFO, sir. Uh, we're on 7188.00, 7188.00, uh, check your uh, VFO, I think you just might have bumped it, Roger. Uh, zero, zero, uh, check your uh, VFO, I think you just might have bumped it, Roger. Yes, sir, you got it now. There's a, there's a lock on that radio that you could probably put on. What I My uh, rule of thumb is if I'm going to be somewhere more than uh, 30 seconds or, or more, I'll go ahead and uh, lock that uh, 
that frequency so I don't uh, bump my VFO. Now, what I want you to do, I'm copying you on the Milford PA, and you're not uh, too much above the noise level. You're about 2 dB or so above the Milford's uh, noise level. So I'd like to find if there's a better path for us. So why don't you give me about 10 seconds and uh, tell me about your antenna system, and uh, I'll see if I can find us a better path. Roger? Your antenna system, and uh, I'll see if I can find us a better path. Roger? All right, uh, Dave, I'm copying you still on Milford. I could not find a better uh, copy for you, uh, so uh, we'll do it on Milford. If you've got, you have a pretty good copy on me. Uh, so uh, we'll do it on Milford. If you've got, you have a pretty good copy on me. Yes, sir, David. Okay, uh, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it uh, starts with you first uh, double-checking on your settings uh, to be sure you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandwidth. Uh, 100 to 2900. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, just take a note that your uh, TBW uh, is in settings, and it should be in the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandpass mode. Roger. In the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandpass mode, Roger. Okay, now you have uh, you have faded out there, uh, but if you can still copy me, uh, the setup starts with you uh, engaging your compressor processor uh, on and at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100. That's the processor compressor on, and at a 3 out of 10, or 30 out of 100. Roger, roger. And at a 3 out of 10, or 30 out of 100. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. All right, now, uh, Dave, I can hear the microphone when you key. I can hear the microphone uh, mechanically make a noise there. So I know you've got some level. So I want you to come right up on that uh, hand mic and uh, uh, see what kind of uh, copy I've got on you. Uh, uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, see what kind of uh, copy I've got on you. Uh, uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, I got a pretty good copy on you. Now we'll we'll get your audio set here in just a second. Uh, you've got your compressor on at a three. Is that a Roger? Just a second. Uh, you've got your compressor on at a three. Is that a Roger? Uh, Dave, stay up on that microphone, buddy. Uh, Dave, stay up on that microphone, buddy. Roger, Roger, Dave. Okay, now let's move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And I, I, what I want you to do is uh, work that microphone. I want you to pull that hand mic to the corner of your lips and talk across it. I don't want you to talk directly into that mic. I want you to pull it to the corner of your lips and actually touch your lips uh, and talk across that microphone. Roger, Roger. Touch your lips uh, and talk across that microphone. Roger, Roger. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to go to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word audio, I want you to uh, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds. You become a human a signal generator, and as you say the word audio, don't stress it, just say it, and then adjust your mic gain uh, for two-thirds on your ALC meter. Roger. Your mic gain uh, for two-thirds on your AOC meter, Roger. Roger, uh, Roger uh, for two-thirds. Um, yeah, I guess right, right about there ought to, ought to about have it. Go ahead. 
Yes, sir, David. Now, the simpler way to do that is to use that word, audio. Uh, you know, that word is just a perfect word. The first of that word, audio, is just perfect for a signal generator, and it's real easy to set your ALC meter directly to two-thirds. Just just perfect. Just, just just say that word, elongate the ah uh, part, and adjust your mic gain for two-thirds on your ALC. Ah uh, part, and adjust your mic gain for two-thirds on your ALC. Uh, kind of faded out there. Mother Nature kind of uh, pulled the plug a little bit. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be back in uh, in shortly there, Dave. Uh, uh, did uh, that work out already ready for you? Uh, two-thirds on your ALC now, Roger? Did uh, that work out All right, uh, Dave, I, I have lost you for the moment, but let's uh, move on with the setup. I want you to go to your uh, your equalizer, your tone control, or your equalizer page, and I want you to add two clicks of top-end EQ, top-end treble EQ, plus two from where you are on your tone control or your EQ page, depending on how, what they call it. Roger? Or your EQ page, depending on how, what they call it. Roger? I still don't uh, copy you there, uh, uh, Dave, but uh, you're a plus two clicks additional treble EQ boost from where you are, Roger, Roger. Two clicks additional treble EQ boost from where you are, Roger, Roger. Oh, I got some dumb person operating a 2KC off from where I am. I don't understand that. We've been on the air now for 45 minutes. Why would somebody start a, a, a QSO 2KC off from uh, somebody that's been there for 45 minutes? They, some pe people need uh, some good training anyway. Uh, Dave, I, I think we've got it, sir. I'd love to hear you, uh, but uh, right now uh, I don't have a copy on you. May I suggest that you think about uh, changing antennas to a, uh, a resonant dipole antenna. That is one of the most efficient antennas in the world. Uh, you know, my th philosophy is that anybody that's uh, transmitting with 100 watts in the eastern part of the United States should be uh, uh, like a 5, 6, or 7 somewhere. If you're a, t if you're a, t a 1, if you're a, you know, a 1 everywhere, you're not getting out. So con contemplate on uh, maybe uh, trying a, a, a dipole antenna, uh, you know, for uh, increase your uh, radiation efficiency, Roger. Uh, you know, for increase your uh, radiation efficiency, Roger. Yes, sir, Dave. Well, uh, if you want to, uh, if you go to YouTube tomorrow, uh, we'll have this uploaded by noon tomorrow. Go to YouTube, do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. We'll take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2400 uh, QSO Vlog air check recordings, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? QSO Vlog air check recordings, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Okay, David, before you go, sir, I would like to, uh, to have your location. Come back with your location and your radio. Come back with your location and your radio, Dave. Location and your radio. Come back with your location and your radio, Dave. Yes, sir, Dave. I've got Cambridge, Ohio now. Uh, that radio, uh, it's a Yezu FT9. Uh, repeat the uh, the model number of your radio, Roger. FT9. Uh, repeat the uh, the model number of your radio, Roger. What's 
FT900, is that a Roger? FT900, is that a Roger? Roger Dave, I copy, FT900. Thank you, sir, very much. Uh, 73 to you. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday. Uh, we'd love to have you. We go live uh, from uh, 3.30 till 5, recording all the way. So uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, sir. This is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kiso Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey Alpha 2, Juliet Oscar Echo. Whiskey Alpha 2 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Whiskey Alpha 2 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Whiskey Alpha 2, Juliet Oscar Echo. Juliet Oscar Echo, Roger, and what's the name there? Juliet Oscar Echo, Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, the name here is Joe, Juliet Oscar Echo, with a ICOM 7300. All right, Joe, and whereabouts are you located, sir? All right, Joe, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Uh, Freehold, New Jersey. That's central New Jersey. Yes, sir, Joe. Okay, uh, if you're interested in our setup procedure, starts with you verifying you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, 100 to 2900. If you're not familiar with that, just take a note and then uh, double check. Uh, we want you to be in the highest uh, uh, bandwidth uh, that you can be, provided uh, it's not over 2900. And, uh, you know, uh, some radios, uh, older radios, can only go up to 2400. Uh, you know, hopefully your radio can go up to 29. That will uh, be the best operating condition for it, Roger. Go up to 29. That will uh, be the best operating condition for it, Roger. Uh, QSL, my transmit bandwidth is currently set for, uh, for uh, let's see, 100 to 2900. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now let's move to your compressor, processor, and we want it on at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled. We're just looking for a third of it. It's nothing that you'll ever hear on the air, but it helps us with our dynamic range at the end. So it's a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100, Roger? At the end. So it's a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100, Roger? Uh, that's on the compression. Yeah, compressor processor, depending on what they call it. Yeah, compressor processor, depending on what they call it. Okay, compression went from a 2 to a 3. QSL? Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. That's a, that's a 3 out of 10. Roger, roger. Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. That's a, that's a 3 out of 10. Roger, roger. Uh, let me double check that. Stand by. Yes, QSL, 3 out of 10. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Okay, now let's go to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, audio, you become a human test generator and uh, you adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds. So just say the word audio, stretch the front of it out, audio, become that human generator. And it's real easy then just to uh, adjust your mic gain until your ALC is reading two-thirds. Roger. Adjust your mic gain until your AOC is reading two thirds. Roger. QSL audio audio. Okay, that's about seven out of ten. That's about two thirds. QSL. Yes, sir. Looks good. Now uh, let's move to your uh, equalization page, your tone control page. Uh, let's move to your uh, equalization page, your tone control page. Okay, stand by. Okay, transmit tone control. Uh, bass is set to plus one, and treble is set to plus four. Okay, and what's your top end there? Is it a plus five or plus ten? Okay, and what's your top end there? Is it a plus five or plus ten? Plus five, plus five. Yeah, go ahead and move that up one click to five. So you're uh, maxed out on your treble EQ, uh, Roger, Roger. So you're uh, maxed out on your treble EQ, uh, Roger, Roger. 
Okay, treble is maxed out at plus five. Alrighty, what kind of mic are you running there, uh, Joe? Alrighty, what kind of mic are you running there, uh, Joe? Uh, it's a Heil Pro Set Elite with the uh, ICOM uh, microphone. Yes, sir. Okay, I would suggest that you get a windscreen, a foam windscreen for that mic, and just, just set it on the foam windscreen. I've uh, heard a couple of plosives there, and those uh, foam windscreens are just beautiful. They take out all the garbage and just leave the words, Roger. These are just beautiful. They take out all the garbage and just leave the words, Roger. Uh, QSL, there is a foam windscreen on this uh, boom mic. All right, I would suggest pulling it out about a half an inch then. Uh, pull it, uh, pull that windscreen out just about a half an inch. Not very far, but just pull it out about a half inch. Because I did hear a couple of, uh, of plosives there. And uh, windscreens should, uh, foam windscreens should take care of that, Roger. And uh, windscreens should, uh, foam windscreens should take care of that, Roger. Okay, QSL, I've pulled the uh, microphone boom a little bit away from my mouth. Yes, sir. I, I heard another one. So what I would suggest is maybe you go to your local music store and get yourself another windscreen uh, and try that, uh, you know, because that one is uh, not, uh, that one is kind of failing just a little bit because I did hear a, a pop on uh, pulling or whatever it was. So, uh, you know, your local music store has a multitude of uh, different colors. You can choose your color or whatever, and they're only about four bucks or three bucks, whatever, Roger. Okay, so something maybe a little thicker. Yeah, because uh, uh, your your plosives are making it through there, and uh, you should be able to uh, swallow that microphone if you wanted to, and not have. I'm, I'm right now. I'm touching my uh, my uh, foam windscreen. Uh, I'm right up in it, and it. Uh, you know, I'm not getting any um, any plosives, and that's the beautiful thing about uh, a good foam windscreen. You know, so uh, you know, like I say, four bucks, and uh, you're uh, probably uh, in. Excellent shape, Roger. Four bucks, and uh, you're uh, probably uh, in excellent shape, Roger. Okay, QSL, I'll try a new windscreen. Thank you. Um, we set the transmit bandwidth wide to 100 by 20 to 2900. Uh, mid is currently set 300 to 2700, and narrow is set 500 to 2500. QSL. Yes, sir. I've got that uh, jack uh, there about 2KC off, and there's all kind of bleed coming in. I don't know why anybody would uh, go 2KC off to start a conversation after we've been here for an hour. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would put them all three to 100 to 2900. That way you, d you don't make any mistakes. You're always operating that radio in the best uh, uh, capable c possibilities, Roger. In the best uh, uh, capable c possibilities, Roger. Uh, QSL, set all the bandwidth to 100 to 2900, QSL. Yes, sir, I'm joking, but uh, I, uh, you know, I'm serious, too. Uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, you always want to operate that radio as best you can. You always want to sound the best you can. And what happens is when you start, when you wind up in some of those lesser uh, bandwidths, it starts uh, rolling off the top end. And all of your articulation, see, we're restricted by, uh, you know, 3KC. So we really have to, uh, we need all of the um, bandwidth that we can get, on, particularly on the top end, for intelligibility. All the, uh, the uh, articulated words uh, are, uh, you know, the top end is what makes articulation. So we want to we run that radio in the highest mode for articulation, and that is uh, 2900. So it's, uh, you know, that scale is 100 to 2900. And that way when you're in a pileup or uh, you're in, you know, in heavy noise or whatever, folks can not only hear what you, what you, you know, hear your voice, but they can understand what the words are that you're speaking because your audio is articulated in the top end, Roger. If without the top end, you become Mr. Mumbles. End, Roger. If without the top end, you become Mr. Mumbles. Yeah, QSL, I appreciate that. Um, I do uh, chase parts, parts on the air, and uh, so I do get in pilot sometimes. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. That uh, you were very in the clear there. Whoever it was wasn't speaking at the moment. It was on that side bend, two clicks off of me. But uh, uh, that was very clear. So if you want to again, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do the call letter search KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. Be cut number one in a series of 2400, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. A series of 2400, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Okay, and just to confirm the call sign, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo, Victor Kilo. Yes, sir, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo, Victor VKV, right here. Charlie 9, Victor Kilo, Victor VKV, right here. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I spend a lot of time on YouTube, so I sure do appreciate the time and uh, all the effort you make with all of us. Uh, I'm sure it's a labor of love. Uh, KC9, VKV, WA2, JOE. Roger, Roger, Joe, your audio is just beautiful now. Just really sounds nice. You'll enjoy your recording. 73. And uh, this is the Friday afternoon kiss of VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. So VLOGNET, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, Victor Alpha 3, Victor Mike Delta. Victor Alpha 3, uh, come back with the rest of that call sign. Victor Alpha 3, uh, come back with the rest of that call sign. Hey, Jim, uh, good afternoon. It's uh, Vito up in Toronto. Long time no speak. It's uh, Victor America 3, uh, Victor Mike Delta. Just wanted to jump in here and say hello, Jim. Uh, VA3, VMD. Roger, Roger. Gosh, you've blown my head off. What? what you must be running uh, 10 KW up that way. My head off. What? what you must be running uh, 10 KW up that way. Oh, it's all that power from Quebec City, Roger. <laughs> Sounded really good. I'm using, uh, incidentally, I'm on Milford to PA uh, SDR, and you're just, uh, you're just blowing Milford away, Roger. PA uh, SDR, and you're just, uh, you're just blowing Milford away, Roger. Yeah, very good. Well, listen, I just wanted to jump in here to say hello. I know there's um, many guys you're going to help out there. So uh, come down uh, one day around uh, 7163, Jim. Uh, during the day, there's a bunch of uh, audio guys down there. Uh, come and join us if you're free one of these days and listen out for us. Uh, again, that's 7.163. A bunch of Ontarians and um, people from all over the U.S. and whatnot, we kind of conjugate down there. But I just wanted to say hello. Hope you had a really happy uh, Thanksgiving and um, it's been a while since we've spoken so I heard you out there this Friday and I figured I'd just give you some salutations from Toronto, QSL. Yes, sir. And uh, what radio are you running today? Yes, sir. And uh, what radio are you running today? Well, I'm running the 7610. I'm running the 7610. Uh, so the last time we spoke, I was running the 7300. So I'm running the 7610, but the processing's uh, being uh, all done by that Ukrainian uh, A-band uh, EQ. Um, it's the Electrovoice RE20, uh, the A-band EQ, and we're running the ACOM at about uh, oh, just a little over 600 watts on the peaks, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Now you have a button on your radio called Quick. Roger, Roger, now you have a button on your radio called Quick. Yep. Quick takes you to drive. Quick takes you to drive. Yep. And uh, 65 is a nice thing to drive with. Uh, really, really, uh, 65, Roger. To drive with. Uh, really, really, uh, 65, Roger. Yeah, that's where she said at. There you go, buddy. You're, uh, that's why you're so loud. <laughs> 73 up that way. Have a great afternoon. So loud. <laughs> 73 up that way. Have a great afternoon. Yeah, you hearing everything okay on the bottom end and the top end there? Yes, sir. Just absolutely perfect. You'll you'll enjoy your recording. Uh, YouTube uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll have it posted uh, in uh, just, uh, you know, call it a search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. We'll take you right to this recording, Roger. KV, followed by the word logbook. We'll take you right to this recording, Roger. Yeah, very good, Jim. Hey, I'm really familiar with you. We've done, uh, we've popped down here many, many times with uh, the 7300 menus and whatnot. So uh, I, I just wanted to say hello. I appreciate uh, what you're doing and uh, have yourself a wonderful weekend. Uh, this is VA3VMD. We'll be signing with you, uh, the master of audio, Jim. 
<laughs> Take care, my friend. 73. Roger, Roger, sir. 73 up that way. And if you get a chance to join us next Friday, we'd love to have you. Always 73. This is the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Net. My name is Jim, and uh, we'll be recording now till uh, 5. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Till uh, 5. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. T4 HEW, Kilowatt 4 Hotel Echo. Is that Hotel Echo, uh, uh, Walter, Roger? Is that Hotel Echo, uh, uh, Walter, Roger? Roger. Hotel Echo Whiskey or Walter, your preference. Ah, yes, sir. And uh, you're in that uh, mobile home, Roger, Roger? Ah, uh, yes, sir. And uh, you're in that uh, mobile home, Roger, Roger? Yeah, we, we call it a motor home. <laughs> Just a little bit nomenclature. It's an RV. And uh, with a quarter wave uh, uh, vertical on the back ladder, the Eagle 100 and 100 watts on the Icon. Okay, th I'm sorry, I was uh, going through some other uh, SDRs. I, I copy you best now on Milford. Uh, did, what, uh, was that a 7300 you're on? Best now on Milford. Uh, did, what, uh, was that a 7300 you're on? Uh, correct, Jim, yes, the 7300. It's uh, flat-footed at 100 watts. And through the uh, quarter wave vertical Eagle 1 antenna, which is mounted on the rear ladder of the Mar home, so it's got a pretty good-sized ground plane. Uh, attached to that ladder. So um, I've been with you in the past, and you've helped me set this radio up. I'm a net controller on Saturday mornings in the RV service net on uh, frequency uh, 7191, and I've had very good reports with this radio, and I really haven't touched a thing. I think the last thing I did was put a drop of super glue on all the buttons and just left it set there, but I wanted to get your opinion. Is it still there, or uh, do I need to adjust? All right, it sounds a little warm, and I think last time we decided uh, you're, you're using the uh, wireless headset. Is that a Roger? We decided uh, you're, you're using the uh, wireless headset. Is that a Roger? That's exactly right. Yes, at the uh, Plantronics W720. Roger, Roger. And I think we decided uh, to not use your uh, radio compressor because uh, you're getting a little bit of uh, uh, compression uh, out of that uh, wireless headset. Uh, so you should be, uh, your uh, compressor should be off, Roger. So you should be, uh, your uh, compressor should be off, Roger. Okay, I had it on. Uh, it's on right now. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, it's uh, off on the zero, and uh, same headset, everything else remains the same. Do you see a difference? Do you hear a difference? Yes, sir, a little bit, but it sounds better. You, you were sounding like uh, maybe you were at a dB and a half dynamic range. And, you know, we normally shoot for three uh, to give you just a little bit of life in your words as opposed to being up against the wall. And uh, so now I think you're, you're cleaner there. And I, I think we did discuss once that, uh, that, um, that the wireless headset was giving you just a little bit of uh, compression uh, activity within that, s that uh, receive uh, uh, that transmit receive circuit uh, so we could just bypass the uh, local uh, compressor because what happens is you know that's kind of like double uh, the compression and that's why you went to that uh, you know a 2 dB dynamic range where you know we really would like a, a 3 uh, but uh, s uh, let's try uh, going on with our ALC if you wouldn't mind uh, make sure your compressor your local radio compressor is off and then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand and as you say the magic word audio and, and also I'm sorry <laughs> we want that uh, boom mic to be out as far as it can uh, and then make a 90. We want to, to try to get that uh, in front of your mouth as far as we can and then make a 90. Uh, so I was hearing just a little bit of uh, uh, a mouth noise there and the further you can get that mic uh, the better the, the less mouth noise. But uh, we want it uh, you know just at the last minute to take the 90 for the mic element. Roger? Uh, you know just at the last minute to take the 90 for the mic element. Roger? Oh, Roger that. It was down below my mouth. Now it's just sticking straight out from the tip. Um, and I have my game. My game currently is set at 45. Compression is off. And ALC looks to be about mid scale. 
All right, now we have a beautiful word uh, that we can set that AOC. It's called audio. You become a human signal generator. Audio. Just use the first word there, the first part of that word, audio, and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two thirds. And adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two thirds. All right, uh, audio. Yeah, it's uh, right, about, right about 46% there is where it ends up, right where it was. Yes, sir, sounding really good. I think I think it uh, was a little pushed in the beginning, but I think it's just just perfect now. And, uh, you know, we'll be posting this up on YouTube uh, by noon tomorrow. So, uh, you know, if you go to YouTube, do that call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, it will take you right to this recording, Roger. Followed by the word logbook, it will take you right to this recording, Roger. The real sign, Jim. I, that's, what, that's what I was learning. And I do remember uh, saying that uh, the wireless was a little hot, just a touch hot. Of course, the, microphone, the uh, standard microphone probably would do well with a compression of one. I mean, 7300 likes a little compression, so give it what it wants. But uh, with this headset, I doubt if it beeps it. Roger. Yes, sir. You're, I'm looking at your signal, and you are 3 dB, uh, so that's just exactly perfect. Uh, you'll be getting all kinds of raves tonight on the net, Roger. Perfect. Uh, you'll be getting all kinds of raves tonight on the net, Roger. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I live for those. <laughs> don't, don't we all? <laughs> and there's a lid out there tonight trying to tune up on top of us, but you're coming right through or right over it. Nice audio tonight, Jim. Well, you're pounding in over here, Raleigh. It's into 20 over uh, most of the time. Just a great signal. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. I'll clear with you. K4HEW will be clear in your final. Thank you very much. Roger, Roger. Had just one other thought. Uh, you want to be on your internal mic gain. You want to be uh, somewhere around four or five, just to be sure you're not overdriving your uh, mic, uh, pre your internal mic preamp. So you want to be in a nominal position on your uh, internal mic gain as a four or five or some somewhere in there. Roger. Your uh, internal mic gain is a four or five or some somewhere in there. Roger. Roger, Roger. I think I am. I'll go check that when we clear off here. But th thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Just sounds beautiful. You'll love your recording there. 73, and have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. We're about 20 minutes till 5. And this is the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Net. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Vlog Net. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey, Victor 8, Romeo, Kilo, Lima. Uh, the name is Randall, and uh, good evening there, Jim. It's been a good while since I've spoken with you. And, uh, I just wanted to jump in and uh, tell you uh, Merry Christmas, because I don't know if I'll get to talk to you before then. Uh, and your signal's uh, 20 over here in West Virginia. Oh, Roger, thank you very much, Randall. We're pushing as hard as we can, sir. Some days uh, we do better than others. It's like that mouse running on the uh, treadmill, you know. Do better than others. It's like that mouse running on the uh, treadmill, you know. Hey, I got one of them gerbil powered amplifiers out here. <laughs> now, I just run my normal 72 watts here out of West Virginia, Jim, on this uh, DX10 radio. And uh, well, it was just good to, good to hear you in there, Jim. It was such a booming signal. I didn't even think it was you because most generally I get you around a, uh, a five, uh, five, 5 to a 5 7, and uh, to your 20 over. Just a fantastic signal. Band seems to be open between us there, over. Roger, Roger, Randall. Well, you know, maybe uh, 40 is coming around. You know, I've been talking to Mother Nature. I said, look, you know, you got to do a better deal for us on 40. And uh, she uh, put down her bottle of Mescatel and said, well, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, 73, Randall, and uh, you're sounding good if you want to hear your audio. Go to YouTube and do that call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and that'll take you right to this recording, Roger. KV, followed by the word logbook, and that'll take you right to this recording, Roger. All right. Uh, well, it must be pretty good, Dan, since you didn't say do anything to it. All right, Jim. Hey, my pleasure on this, and, and I'll say 73. God bless you, my friend. Thanks for what you do for all the ham and radio operators out there. I've been listening to you for about three or four years now, and uh, it's fantastic to hear someone who takes the time out and uh, is willing to help others. With that being said, this is Whiskey Victor 8, real kind lad in West Virginia, saying 73. God bless and uh, happy Merry Christmas.
Roger, Roger Randall, 73, sir, and uh, that audio, you know, it's, you, can't, you can't improve perfection, so there you go. <laughs> I've said it. You, that the audio is just perfect. I would I would take that any day. Seventy three, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. This is the uh, Friday afternoon kiss of Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo two, Oscar Victor. Oscar Victor, Roger. What's the name there? Oscar Victor, Roger. What's the name there? Jeff up here in Bell Fountain, Ohio. Roger, Roger, Jeff in Ohio. And what radio are you running, sir? Roger, Roger, Jeff in Ohio. And what radio are you running, sir? 7300 into an Ameritron 572 into an Alpha Delta CC inverted V uh, uh, fan dipole. Ah, Roger that, sir. Okay, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it starts with you uh, double-checking to be sure you're in that 100 to 2900 uh, transmit uh, bandwidth through your TBW. It's in settings. Should be in the 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. In the 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. If I can figure out how to get to it. Frequencies in use, frequencies in use. Frequencies in use, frequencies in use. Yeah, give me a second here. i got to figure out how to get back into that. It's uh, in uh, settings. Settings should take you to that on your multi settings. Uh, I'm sorry, on. S yeah, let's see the multi or settings. Settings. Uh, I'm sorry, on. S yeah, let's see the multi or settings. Yeah, I have not been into that for a while. Probably the best thing, Jeff, would just be take a note and uh, check that uh, at your leisure later, Roger. Just be take a note and uh, check that uh, at your leisure later, Roger. I can do that. Yeah, that's that's uh, it's a, it's a big thing, but it's something if you're not familiar with that uh, where that uh, transmit bandwidth uh, setting is, uh, it can be a little difficult. So uh, what we want now is to uh, set uh, your compressor on at a three. We're going to set up procedure. Compression on at a three on that uh, 7300, Roger. Compression on at a three on that uh, 7300, Roger. Yeah, I have it at a three right now. Yeah. In about 50%. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the last, but your compression is on at a three. And then move to your ALC with the mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word audio, just say it, don't stress it. Stretch out that first part of the word audio. You become a human signal generator. Adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two thirds. Roger. Excellent, excellent. Now uh, go to your tone control. Go to your tone control page. And uh, that's got a, a two band EQ. And we want you to uh, increase your treble by two clicks from where you are. Plus two uh, boost treble EQ from where you are. Roger. Plus two uh, boost treble EQ from where you are. Roger. Alrighty, I have just done that. I'm at a plus five on that. All right, now I want you to operate your microphone just like you normally would, and uh, I want you to tell me about your antenna system in 10 seconds or so, Roger. Tell me about your antenna system in 10 seconds or so, Roger. Like I said, a uh, high foot of LMR 400 into a CC Alpha Delta fan dipole about 30, 35 foot off the ground, inverted V. All right, Jeff, I just moved off to uh, my Georgia SDR because uh, there's some inconsiderate folks that are, you know, uh, started talking on a frequency that's been in use for almost an hour and a half. I don't know why they would do that, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, um, gosh, uh, come back. I want to hear a little bit more of your audio, Roger. Um, gosh, uh, come back. I want to hear a little bit more of your audio, Roger. Yep, I heard that. If you could, when we get done here, if you would repeat what you were wanting me to check, I believe I am into that. 
I'm just uh, trying to find an SDR where the good buddies that just started talking are not. This is an active frequency. The frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Hello! That means the frequency is in use. I, I don't know what to tell them, but... Uh, Anyway, Jeff, uh, can you tell me about the best thing you like about uh, ham radio in about 15 seconds, Roger. The best thing you like about uh, ham radio in about 15 seconds, Roger. Well, I can uh, tell you a lot. I actually got my technician in January, got my general march, and just got my extra about three months ago, and I'm also accredited to be uh, a tester. All right, Jeff, uh, now th this is the proof of the pudding. We want to get your audio a little more articulated than where it is. So I want you to take your treble EQ all the way to 5, treble EQ to 5, and then I want to hear you at that. Uh, so that's uh, 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 5 is your max on treble EQ boost, and that's where I want you to be, and I want to listen to you at that. It's on treble EQ boost. And that's where I want you to be, and I want to listen to you at that. Yeah, I've had it at five. I'm at a plus five right now. You were asking me to check something in the very beginning. Could you repeat what that was again? I wish your ALC, just before we went to your EQ, your ALC, mic gain in hand, and as you say the word audio, adjust your uh, mic gain until your ALC is running two-thirds, Roger. Adjust your uh, mic gain until your ALC is running two-thirds, Roger. Yeah, I thought there was something right in the beginning you were wanting me to check a setting inside my internals. Uh, could have been uh, compression. The only thing before that is compression, and then, of course, the uh, transmit bandwidth. And you're going to make a note on the transmit bandwidth that being 100 to 2900, and your compression should be on at a 3. Roger. 2900, and your compression should be on at a 3. Roger. Yeah, I did find that setting, and I am at that 1 to 2900. Great. It is at three, and we're max out on the treble right now. I am running a high old gold line mic. It does have the wide and narrow. Yeah, you. Yeah, just leave it where it is for right now. I want you to uh, uh, go down on your bottom side, the bass. I want you to roll off two clicks on your bass. Roll two clicks uh, uh, bass uh, off. Minus two clicks from where you are, Roger. Uh, bass uh, off. Minus two clicks from where you are, Roger. Yep. Okay, sir, that would be two clicks off. That would put me down at negative two right there. Yes, sir, I think that's uh, sounding pretty good. Why don't you uh, tell me the best thing you like about amateur radio, Roger? Pretty good. Why don't you uh, tell me the best thing you like about amateur radio, Roger? I enjoy this science so much. Like I said, I just started in January, and I love this field. I went in both hands and feet, and I have not stopped swimming in this beautiful hobby. Roger, Roger. Man, you know, amateur radio is not uh, too uh, too nice these days. Why would they start uh, a QSO on a frequency that's been in use for an hour and a half? Just uh, puzzlement. You know, I'm, I'm, maybe they can't hear me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too weak, and they just can't hear me. That that probably is it. You know, they they must be running power. I don't know. Could be, uh, but they can't hear me because you know here I here I am, and they just started talking. Oh well. You know, here I here I am, and they just started talking. Oh well. I can hear you perfectly. You are nice and strong on my end. I hear just a little bit of chatter there, not much. Roger, a little tongue-in-cheek there, you know. I mean, uh, I'm sure I'm giving them as good as they're giving me. Uh, 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 but uh, they're, they're persistent, I'll give them that. So Anyway, uh, <laughs> Jeff73, uh, sir, again, if you want to hear your beautiful audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,400 uh, QSO V-Log air check recordings, and uh, we'll have it uploaded uh, to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. And uh, we'll have it uploaded uh, to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. Thank you, 73. Thank you for all your help. Yes, sir, Jeff, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next Friday. We'd love to have you. And we got about five minutes till five, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Till five, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Victor Echo 3, X-Ray Bravo Oscar.
Victor Echo 3 Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Victor Echo 3 Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Yes, it's uh, Victor Echo 3, X-Ray Bravo Oscar. Is that a Roger? X-Ray uh, Bravo Oscar, is that a Roger? X-Ray uh, Bravo Oscar, is that a Roger? 100%. I'd made it to v uh, R on the end instead of O, but I got you now. What's the name there? I made it to v uh, R on the end instead of O, but I got you now. What's the name there? Uh, you got here Bart Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango in Meaford, Ontario, Canada. Roger. Yes, sir, Bart. Uh, and what radio are you running today, sir? Yes, sir, Bart. Uh, and what radio are you running today, sir? I'm running the uh, ICOM 7300 uh, with the ICOM desk mic, uh, the SM20. Uh, Roger. Uh, sounds really, really good there. Uh, our, uh, you know, usually starts with uh, verifying that you're in that transmit uh, bandwidth of 100 to 2900. Sounds like you are, but you, you might check that real quick. That'll be your best performance, uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Be your best performance. Uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I can give you my specs right now. Uh, it is on the wide, uh, as you said. Uh, the uh, the compression is at uh, level three. The treble is uh, at uh, two, and the bass is at uh, three. Is that a Roger? Yes, sir. Now, if you want to just verify your uh, ALC real quick, uh, bring up your ALC meter with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word audio, you become a human test generator you say the word audio stretch out the first of that uh, don't stress it just say it and as you say it uh, adjust your mic gain until your AOC meter is running two-thirds Roger just your mic gain until your AOC meter is running two-thirds Roger Roger audio audio yes it's running uh, it's running just over 60 percent Roger Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And your compressor is uh, on a three. Is that a Roger? Three out of ten on that 7300. Compressor is uh, on a three. Is that a Roger? Three out of ten on that 7300. Yes, it's three out of ten. One hundred percent. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds nice and full. I just wanted to double check to be sure we're, you know, we're, we're right there. It really sounds nice. And if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and uh, go uh, to uh, KC9VKV uh, with the word logbook in back of that, it'll take you right to this recording. We'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Bart. Take you right to this recording. We'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Bart. Okay, very good. Yeah, I'm a subscriber to your YouTube channel, so I'll get a notification when you post it. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, sir, Bart73, sir. Have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend up there, son, and just, just beautiful you of your recording. This is the Friday afternoon kiss of Vlognet, about three and a half minutes till uh, five. So, we've got room for one more. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. So, we've got room for one more. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Have a great weekend, Jim. Thanks a bunch. k 4 atw KC9, Victor, Charlie, Victor. KC9, Victor, Charlie, Victor. November 4, Romeo, Charlie, Oscar. Romeo, Charlie, Oscar, uh, go ahead. Romeo, Charlie, Oscar, uh, go ahead. Roger, sir, I was trying to call you before, but I didn't have the amp on, and I, I was wanted to get checked out, but I guess I'll just wait till tomorrow. How does it sound, though? Uh, you're looking pretty good. Your dynamic range is right on. It's about uh, 3 dB, so your your uh, ALC is uh, at the proper level. Uh, are you running your uh, compressor on at a 3 out of 10, 30 out of 100, Roger? Your uh, compressor on at a 3 out of 10, 30 out of 100, Roger? The compressor's not on at all, sir. Yes, sir. If you would like to, our setup procedure, it starts with your compressor on at a three. It's something you'll never hear on the air, but it helps us achieve our dynamic range uh, setting at the end. So, if you'd be interested in our setup procedure, it starts with the compressor on at a three. Nothing that you'll ever hear on the air, but it, like I say, it does help our uh, uh, our dynamic range set at the end. Roger. It, like I say, it does help our uh, uh, our dynamic range set at the end. Roger. Roger that. Okay, the compression's on at a three, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, also verify that you're in that 100 to 2900 transmit bandpass mode. Might ask you first, uh, what's what's the name there, and what radio are you running? I'd ask you first, uh, what's what's the name there, and what radio are you running? 
Roger, sir. The name is Ross. The name is Ross, R-O-S-S, November 4, Romeo Charlie Oscar. I'm running a CS-570D, sir. 570D, is that a Roger? 570D, is that a Roger? That's a Roger. Uh, through a uh, uh, dipole. Uh, Actually, it's made for 4080. It's the RX80. And I'm running a little bit of amp, AL811, running about uh, 200 and 250 watts. Ah, uh, yes, sir, Ross. And uh, let's see here. Where are you located, sir? Uh, yes, sir, Ross. And uh, let's see here. Where are you located, sir? Northeast Arkansas, about 70 miles north of Memphis, sir. QSL. Uh, roger, roger. Okay, Arkansas. And uh, so uh, after we get our compressor on at a three, we move to the ALC with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, and you, you stretch out the first of that audio, you become a human test tone generator. And with the mic gain, uh, uh, adjust your uh, level until you're running uh, two-thirds on your ALC meter. Roger? Until you're running uh, two-thirds on your ALC meter. Roger? Okay, sir. Uh, uh, uh. All right, now uh, again, we don't want to stress that word too much. We just want to say it like we would normally say it in a CUSO. So double check it just maybe a little bit softer, just like you would normally speak, Roger. Maybe a little bit softer, just like you would normally speak, Roger. Roger. Uh, uh. Alrighty, and uh, so you've got uh, two thirds on your uh, ALC meter now, Roger. And uh, so you've got uh, two thirds on your uh, ALC meter now, Roger. Roger, sir. Alrighty, let's go to your equalization page, your tone control page. Alrighty, let's go to your equalization page, your tone control page. I'm not that familiar with this radio. I just bought it about two weeks ago. I'm, I apologize for that, but uh, I don't think I can find that real quick. All right, let me give you a, a note on equaliz equalizing. If you, um, We want to keep the mid-range flat. We want to keep everything from 400 cycles to 1.6K flat. The whole idea about an equalizer is to strike a balance to the top of the band, uh, audio band, to the mid-range, and from the bottom of the audio band to the mid-range. And if you move the mid-range, uh, it's so much harder for the top and the bottom to catch up. Uh, so much so that the ICOM 7300 and the 7610 don't even bother putting a mid-range control in their tune-up. Uh, because they want you to keep that flat. So the word is everything from 400 cycles to 1.6K uh, should be flat. Or if you just have a three band EQ, uh, center mid frequency should be uh, flat, not uh, boost or cut, just flat. Uh, and uh, then we want to, to go to the treble part of your EQ. If it's a three band, we want to go three clicks additional boost from where you are, plus three clicks treble EQ additional from where you are, Roger. Trouble issue additional from where you are, Roger. Roger that. All right, and uh, let's see here. Ross, you might check your uh, uh, VFO. I think you might have bumped it. Uh, we're on uh, 7188.00, Roger. Uh, we're on uh, 7188.00, Roger. Roger that. I did bump it. I'm sorry when I was doing some adjustment. I got it back on 88 now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My rule of thumb is if I'm on a frequency longer than 60 seconds, uh, I always hit that uh, lock button, so uh, it'll keep me uh, right on frequency. So you've got the note about additional uh, treble EQ, three clicks boost uh, from where you are, Roger. Additional uh, treble EQ, three clicks boost uh, from where you are, Roger. Roger, sir. All right, and I want you to tell me uh, in about 15 seconds or so uh, uh, the best thing you like about uh, your radio, Roger. This or so, uh, uh, the best thing you like about uh, your radio, Roger. Well, the best thing I like about it is it's pretty easy to operate, and it seems like it gets up pretty good on the side. 
Okay, Ross, I think you're getting some RF in your AF. You sounded distorted that time, so you might be getting uh, RF in your AF. Roger, Roger. So you might be getting uh, RF in your AF. Roger, Roger. That's the thing I wanted to ask you about, sir. I'm, every time that I transmit my, my my TV flickers and what have you, I'm running it through a MSJ 915, which is supposed to take care of uh, any back, uh, back transmission to what have you, but it doesn't seem to be working. You need suggestions? Yes, sir. Uh, dump your power amp for just a moment and come back to me barefoot. Dump your power amp and come back barefoot. Let me hear you. Come back to me barefoot. Dump your power amp and come back barefoot. Let me hear you. Barefoot, and I'm at 100 watts. All right, uh, that's uh, cl that's clean, Ross. So you are definitely picking up RF in your AF. So there's a, n a number of ways to do this. The main thing is uh, that uh, it's good to be able to see RF. You know, uh, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. You can actually see RF. It's called a field strength meter. And as you, you know, they cost about eight bucks or something. They're from uh, old uh, CV days. Uh, you know, they got a little antenna on a, a meter. And you can move that around and find out what's hot and what's not. And uh, you want to uh, get your hot spots away from your audio. So uh, a lot of times uh, you might have to run two different grounds or maybe even three. You you want to uh, ground your power amp and your antennas and your switchy antenna switching, all that stuff you want to ground, but you don't want to connect that ground to your radio or your, uh, if you use a preamp or something, you know, you don't want to adjust your, or connect your power amp ground to your radio ground. So, uh, you know, uh, run two grounds, one for your power amp and uh, for your uh, antenna switching, and then one for your, your radio, and and see where that takes you, Roger. And then one for your, your radio, and, and see where that takes you, Roger. All right, I've got the same ground wire going to the radio and to the amplifier right now. I'm not using an antenna switch, I'm using the one that's building the radio. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, what I'm saying is you might need two grounds. Uh, I use uh, old RG8 for the uh, ground uh, lead, you know, because uh, at RF levels, that uh, RG8 looks like a, a one-inch copper pipe going to ground because RF travels on the surface of things. So I use old RG8 to come off my ground uh, uh, stake coming on into the house and then I use lugs uh, that will fit onto the RG8 and screw uh, these lugs onto the RG8 core ends. I uh, take the insulation off about half an inch, put these connectors on and screw them down and then you can attach those to your lugs on your radio and your power amp. Uh, Roger, Roger. To your lugs on your radio and your power amp. Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, do you use the center core of the RG8 or the outside shield, outside braiding? Mostly the outside, but I do, uh, you know, many times I will uh, uh, fold the center conductor back on top of the braiding and use use the whole thing, Roger. Back on top of the braiding and use, use the whole thing, Roger. Roger that. Okay. Uh, well, right now I'm just running uh, some 14 gauge regular copper wire going to my pole in the ground. And that's coming to uh, straight to my amplifier and my radio. Yes, yeah, so the first thing is to, to uh, detach your amplifier from your radio. That will get a lot of RF away from your radio to uh, get that RF out of your audio. And then you should, you should run two grounds. One ground is for your power amp, and the other ground is uh, for your, um, uh, your radio. Roger, Roger. It's uh, for your, uh, uh, your radio. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Does it have to be two different grounding poles, or they both from the same grounding pole? Now, I would put another grounding pole. I'm running three. I'm actually running three, but uh, you could probably uh, get away, you know, right now, try two and uh, separate grounds, and you should separate those grounds by at least uh, five or six feet. Roger? And you should separate those grounds by at least uh, five or six feet. Roger? Roger that. Okay, well, I sure appreciate the information, sir, and uh, I want to try this ground wire. Uh, maybe that's what's causing my RF. I know I've got some because I see my cameras flickering, my, my monitors, and, and also my TV. Uh, so I know, even though I'm going through this uh, MSJ 915, it's supposed to take all that out. And, 
uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, if you get a chance, uh, go to, uh, oh, gosh, wherever you might go to to get uh, equipment. See if you can track uh, uh, down a uh, field strength meter for about 10 bucks. That'll help you a great deal because you can actually sniff around with that uh, little antenna lead on the uh, field strength meter, and it's got a calibration knob on it. You can make it as, as sensitive as you want. And then look around your shack and find out where that uh, RF is because it'll show you, you know, uh, high, concentrat high concentrations of RF. And uh, there's nothing else that can really do that, just like you know that field strength meter for 10 bucks uh, you know uh, but you, you could go ahead and just do automatically go ahead and just do two grounds uh, and uh, try to keep those grounds from running together as much as you can the leads uh, back into your shack uh, and then uh, make the leads as short as you can one to your power amp and one to your radio stuff Roger and one to your power amp and one to your radio stuff Roger Roger, sir. Okay, I really appreciate it very much, sir. I didn't catch your name, but uh, I did catch the call sign, KT9 ECB. And uh, I appreciate all the help, and I know that you're over time here, so I'll let you go. Best wishes, 70 degrees. God bless. Thanks so much for the help, friend. Roger, Roger, Ross. Uh, just out of curiosity, try coming up on your power amp, uh, and uh, let me hear you just for a minute. Try coming up on your power amp, uh, and uh, let me hear you just for a minute. Power amp is on. I'm up to about 250-300 watts. All right. Now move your microphone away from your power amp as far as you can get it uh, and uh, see what that does. You want to move away from your power amp as far as you can get it and see what that does. Your power amp as far as you can get it and see what that does. Okay. It's about uh, six feet away from the power amp right now. Yeah, it's it's still in there. Uh, and also, you might try moving your antenna uh, lead away from your radio. In other words, uh, instead of bringing that lead in, it has to pass by your radio. Bring it the other way to where it goes right to the power amp uh, instead of uh, near the radio. Roger. Uh, sounds clean to me. I just lost my uh, SDR up in uh, 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 Milford. Let me uh, see if I can bring that back. Uh, um, I think it, she just kicked me off, but uh, we'll see here just real quick. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let me just see. Audio check one, two, three, four. Yeah, audio check one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, I got Milford back. Okay, so uh, come on back to me. Let me see if I got you. Yes, sir. Uh, that was clean. That was clean, man. I would run that uh, run that microphone, Roger. And there's another thing you can try, and that is an old uh, CB cure that you take uh, a ground strap out of uh, a piece of RG8, run it down through the center part of your microphone coil and uh, connect uh, the one into the microphone and the other into the radio and uh, sometimes you can get a better ground that way, Roger. Get a better ground that way, Roger. I do appreciate your assistance and I'll try those things, and thanks so much for your help today, sir. Yes, sir. Now, uh, that mic is kind of uh, mid-rangey. Do you know where your uh, equalization page is? Uh, equalization page is? No, sir. I've tried to find that uh, on the menu, and I haven't come across it yet. All right. Just uh, make sure your mid-range is flat. Everything from 400 cycles to 1.6 is flat. Then add uh, three clicks additional treble boost. Uh, and if you have uh, if you have a more involved uh, equalizer, the frequency to boost is a 2.7k at a width of four. 2.7k is the uh, boost frequency for your equalizer if you have that capability at a width of four if you have that capability if it's just treble uh, plus three clicks uh, treble boost from where you are roger will boost from where you are roger okay thanks so much for your help 
much. I uh, appreciate your help. Did you say that I can listen to this recording somewhere? Uh, yes, sir. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, uh, we'll have this posted uh, by noon tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,400 uh, uh, QSOV Air check recordings. It'll be cut number one, and we'll have it by uh, noon tomorrow. Right here on a YouTube search, KC9VKV Logbook. The VKV Logbook. I sure appreciate your help, sir, so very much. Uh, KC9 VKV, this is M4 RCO. Roger, Roger, Ross, 73, sir. And this is KC9 VKV uh, completing our, our QSOV log net for this afternoon. And if you have uh, participated, want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2400, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And with that, we'll say 73 all. This is uh, KC9 VKV returning the frequency back to Normal amateur radio use, KC9, VKV, clear.